Hi guys, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Subaraju. In this video session, we will observe cascading style sheets mechanism. What is CSS? Why CSS? Where exactly we are implementing cascading style sheets? We will observe one by one in this video series. Before this video session, who are ready to practice cascading style sheets, please try to watch all HTML videos. In that videos I provided HTML 4.0 related tags, standards, web related information and deprecated tags also I provided. Now cascading style sheets, what is the meaning of cascading? What is the meaning of style? What is the meaning of sheets? Cascading means inheriting. Style means collection of properties. Sheet means dot CSS extension. So, cascading, inheriting styles from one section to another section. Style is a global attribute. It supports collection of properties. Sheet is dot CSS extension file already I made very clearly that. But where we are using, where HTML gets failed, there we are using cascading style sheet. In HTML, a few drawbacks existed. Those drawbacks CSS 1.0 recovered or 2.0 recovered, CSS 3.0 recovered. So, every HTML level drawbacks cascading style sheets mechanism perfectly recovery. Now, a simple example purpose, what is the duty of cascading we come to know. So, simply one example we can see, right now I am coming to my text editor, just I am writing doc type HTML header section title CSS properties title close header section close body inside already the program I explained to you but little bit differently I am going to. So, body tag has some attributes in that one I am showing to you today background is equal to an image path I am providing. HTML 5 dot PNG I provided. Come to browser, run that. Yes. So, actually you added one time image, it is showing n times. See, you are increasing means number of images decreasing. You are decreasing means page size, number of images increasing. Now, I am increasing page size, images decreases. But I do not want all these many images. Actually, I added only one time. I required one time only. So, that time, this kind of drawback using HTML, we are unable to control. That time, we are going to style attribute. Style equal to background repeat no repeat, there is a property, perfect. So, all images out, one image only available. Write this image, good available here. Now, some more properties we can observe. For example, I want to put some text on this image. Let me Google. I am writing, what is HTML5, simply one query I throw. Some result coming, there I am putting some kind of text, whatever text coming here and I want to copy. Yeah, we will take this text from there and copy it and some text you can put on that. So, right now I am taking you this page, just the text copy it. Multiple times you can do that, save it come back and refresh. Whenever you are moving this page, page text moving as well as image also moving. My requirement is image must not move, 
text should move. That is my requirement. That time there is no property in HTML to stick the text backside. So, that time we are doing style attribute feature. Come back to style attribute and style is equal to background attachment fixed. Save it. Refresh it. Come on, move it. Now, image not moving, but text moving with a simple and perfect property. Background attachment fixed. I want this image center of the page and this align should be perfect. That align perfect we know already. Text align justify. Come back and I am writing background position center refresh perfect increase the image or increase the page decrease the page but image never leave the center position observe clearly write the text right side alignment is not proper left side perfectly available margin but right side not that much perfect that time we are using text align i made already that property text align justify like this a page simple effectively visible as per the real time industry to do like this effective development html with css combination possible of course static web pages only but perfection possible now to do more effectively that so we need to learn cascading style sheets mechanism what are the features available and when these features are released in which version 1.0 2.0 3.0 4.0 sas less different different cascading style sheets related features available now once we are coming i implemented very clearly cascading style sheets meaning I wrote a big information related to cascading style sheets and first I will try to show you the information completely related to CSS. Right, remove it. What are the features of CSS first? CSS has a big list of features. Flexibility meaning any browser, any technology and any platform. Codes rendering, yes, it is almost equal to cascading mechanism. Rendering means bring. Accessibility on any technology area, easily we can access. Accessibility is simple and effective. Easy manage, one style sheet, implement with completely styles, attached to one number of HTML files, you need any modification do one time and it is reflecting all html files so this is easily manage all the styles global change so one time you are modifying or one time you are doing changes it is applicable to the respective pages lot of time so whenever we required any client updation any deletion we can do within fraction of seconds because style sheet is a global Easily we can maintain it, does not require any kind of programming language information. You must not be a great programmer. So, just you know the basics of the HTML, easily we can do with the CSS. Inline styles, for every line we can apply styles. Already best example I shown to you in my previous video session regarding span tag. Same like that we can apply inline styles. Internal style sheets, we are calling as embedded style sheets. These styles we can apply page level, inline we can apply line level, external style sheets in real time projects level we are using, one external sheet we are creating and we are attaching to n number of HTML files. So, next one, page load faster, performance wise excellent cascading style sheets, ultimate, simply it is providing efficient 
performance. And page load faster, I said already. Superior styles to HTML. Yes, great styles. Great styles. As just now, I given one example to you related to background properties. Not only that, number of properties in upcoming video sessions. Effectively, we can see examples. Multi device compatibility. Yes, I said already. Any device, any gadget, any widget, CSS has a perfect compatibility. Global web standards. Yes, double U3C standards. Who developed HTML? And that organization is recommending now cascading style sheets mechanism also. We can't separate HTML and CSS. These are the two static markup language and static stylish language is equal to a perfect static web page. So, in cascading style sheet mechanism, these are the main features I shown to you. More features available. Main, what are the main features available? I shown to you. Regarding CSS versions, there are the number of versions available. First time in 1996, actually 1.0 released. 97, 2.0 released. And R98, 98, here is approximate. In 1999, CSS 3.0 released. And recently 4.0 released. But before these versions, how syntax effectively working? What are the preconditions? Yes, let us will concentrate one by one. So, when you are observing CSS syntax, one structure file I will show you. Yes. Now, CSS structure we can see. This is a structure. If you are seeing CSS structure, it is, it is looking like HTML structure. Then you have a doubt. CSS file extension is .css. But you are showing a HTML document structure. Yes. By default, client side, any kind of technology extension is .html. You can save .css extension also. Definitely we can see in upcoming videos what is external style sheets integration. But right now structure we can try to understand. This is header section. I am declaring here and I am cascading to here. Cascading, one word I said very clearly. So, you are declaring in the head section. This is comes under logical part. You are showing here. You are showing here. So, cascading from head section to body section. Like that example. Practical I am showing to you. Right. Concentrate one by one. Doc type HTML. Head section. And directly style. Type is equal to text or CSS and div. What is div? I will explain to you. Just one property I am providing. Style sheet close, head close, body inside, whatever tag name you said you can use. Welcome to CSS. Dot HTML extension is saved. This is actually as per syntax means this is a selector, this is a property, this is a value. So, structure I am showing to you. Now, this structure once you understood, now I am moving from here to syntax. Just let us will concentrate one or two minutes on the syntax. It is a basic syntax. Now, in this basic syntax, if you are observing correctly, made up of three properties, selector, property, value. What is a selector? Styles reusability. What is a property? Like an attribute or behavior, value related to property. These three combination very clearly I am showing to you the syntax. H1 is a selector, property value combination declaration and property value combination is declaration. Remember, in CSS level syntax correctly, a property value separating with colon, a declaration completely separating with semicolon. 
in css one property having more than one word every second word starts with iphone and already i shown font size color you can observe font size you can observe color only single word happy font size two words second word i started with the iphone same in javascript every second word starts with capital letter these are the syntactical rules as a software engineer these words you need to remember perfectly so now the declaration part come back to my example and my example i'll show you here color blue i said so this is this is a selector so here we can write selector and this is color is the property blue is a value so you want to see that i'll show you definitely first let me save that and let me run perfect any browser browser compatibility problem is not there 100% browser friendly so anyone you can so here yes now for example you want to increase that yes now come back use another property font size see the second word 20 pixels of course here also by default pixels only so this is syntactical i am showing to you font family see second word any word you any family you can use tahoma come on right like this we can apply you can use these many families available here any one of families you can try to select so basically in this session step by step i am coming css css advantages features that means advantages means and after that i explained to you very clearly structure now i shown to you the structure and syntax here we can implement even comments also what are comments generally comments are non executable statements or ignore statements using these comments we can declare in the scripting user defined statements in css comments we can declare with the help of this notation same like c programming language forward slash asterisk asterisk forward slash right i am showing that one also practically now for example font family another line forward slash asterisk i am using again these two properties i don't want one property i am showing so asterisk forward slash come back blue color disappear because comment yes perfect now i want multi line comments same one you can take and you can and same i am going to copy paste you can times new roman automatically because by default times new roman size control so these are the comments only one comment notation available in cascading style sheets so this is the fundamental session on cascading style sheets catch me for more videos on youtube.com slash narayshaiti